G'day people, welcome back to the lab. Let's do a tear down and clean of this Apple time capsule. Otherwise, let's get started. We need to remove this end cap here. Uh, this is something uh, everyone struggles with, but uh, this is the easy method. Take note that this is the power supply uh, cord side. It's the bottom of the Apple symbol. Um, obviously have the power cable unplugged. This is for your own safety. Um, and all we need to do is work on this side. We go to the center and then we go slightly offset and we get our metal spudger in, shove it in there nice and hard and pry this edge back a little bit. And then we just throw in the plastic spudger just to keep it jammed open like that. So this side is essentially popped and then we get our metal spudger and find the center again and go slightly offset and take note we have a lead here and we may have a cable so just be very careful and we'll insert our metal spudger and then we should be able to lever both ends and pop the corner. And then it's all a matter of working our way around just gently popping as we go. all the way around and eventually just popping along here along the power supply side and we're all done easy peasy this is a gasket retaining plate here uh, we're going to need a t8 so we'll take these four screws out we'll do this just quickly We get our little metal spudger in, just be aware of the cables here, and then we gently put it between the plate and the gasket, and gently pry it up like this, and push that plate aside. Uh, we also get our little uh, power connector here, and we will gently pry that up, and peel it back gently to expose uh, this end of the gasket. We're going to need to take out a few more uh, cables here, so uh, we'll have a look at that next. The first two cables we have to disconnect is this one here and this one here. So we'll start with this one at the back. We just get uh, our tweezers and just gently just put it underneath and pry it upwards, and it should just pop out like this. And then we do the same again with this four pin connector down here. Gently push it up and out. And these are our first two cables done. Okay, the next one is our little power connector here. This is a little bit more difficult. We have our locking tabs on the side here. And the easiest thing to do is just to push the tabs in slightly and peel it back and then work on the other side that's it disengage those tabs nice and gently and then work our cable free we next uh, peel our cables back being nice and gentle over here like this and then we peel our gasket up. Next is our little uh, SATA connector here. We'll need a three mil flat screwdriver and just poke him in there and just gently work up either end of our SATA connector being nice and gentle, pry him up, and then pushing this cable clear. Right, we have to uh, grab the hard drive, take it up and out. So grab a solid portion of the hard drive, 
around this plate area here. Just get the old pliers in there, grab on tight, and just give it a bit of a wiggle. You're going to have to use a bit of muscle, give it a good old solid pull, get up to where you can actually grab it physically. And the hard drive is out. We have some uh, gaskets down the bottom here. So we just need to put a big screwdriver down there and just pry those out of position. Loosen them up a little bit. We now need our Torx T8 screwdriver with an extension bar to access two screws right down the bottom there. So uh, let's take those out now. Orientate your Apple time capsule like this. And now we're going to break our power supply away from the inside of the box. So put your two thumbs on the power supply like this and then push it forward and that should force it to break away from the inside of the box. All we have to do now is disconnect one more cable here and this is our reset cable when we reset the Apple time capsule. So we'll push on to that now. Here's our little plug for our reset cable and all we have to do as usual is get our little tweezers underneath and pry this plug upwards to break it away. Just like that. Then what we do is we get our two fingers and then we put them under the tabs here and then we just lift it up ever so slightly to break it away and then that pushes into the inside like this. Then we pinch and the whole guts of the Apple Time capsule should slide straight out. We've got the uh, guts of our Apple Time capsule here and this is the power supply side of things and if we flick it over we see where our logic board is and this is what does all the logic behind backing up your uh, your Mac whatever it is to the time capsule the uh, the network ports here the USB um, it controls all that plus your hard drive interface as well so that's basically what the guts of a time capsule looks like so we need to clean our little fan unit and we can see it's quite dirty here. Uh, we've got a bit of dust in there and the best way to clean that up is get a little bit of compressed air. Oh, ha, ah, yuck, dust everywhere. And um, we've cleaned all that dust out. It's all clear. Give it a bit of a blow through the holes here. And we flick it over, we give this a bit of a blow. There we go, as clean as a whistle. Now we're going to put the guts of our time capsule back into the box itself. Um, tape your cables away to the side here and make sure the actual time capsule box is orientated the same as the guts. So we have our ports here on this side and we also have our ports here on this side. So as usual, all you have to do is just do the quick pinch and slide it back into its little home. We next want to align our logic board with the actual box itself. And if we see the top of the network connector here, we want to get that just under that little lug and as soon as we push that across just under the lug we want to then push down to make sure that board locks in place properly. So we'll just move it across and it's right there under the lug and push down and that is our network logic board locked in. Easy peasy. 
We've just slid our little rubber gaskets in the left and right side. It's just a matter of getting them in the little channel here and here, and then pushing downwards with the screwdriver. Next, we have to get our little springs into the little receptacles down here where the screws go. And that's a fairly easy process. You just get your, your little spudger and slide the spring on like that. And then put the spudger down the hole where the screw usually goes. Put the point there, let go of the spring, and it will slide straight into place. And we'll just quickly do the other one. Again, we get our spring and we'll put our little spudger down the hole, get it in the receptacle. Let go and the spring will slide into place. Now we put our screw back in with our extended T8. This is a bit tricky. Just put it down there. Get it in the hole. And then get that screw locked in. Again, we get the other screw and try and get it in the hole once again. We're there and turn your screwdriver. And our screws are in. We next put our reset cable back in, flat over the connector, just push down with your spudger. and it's all locked in. We're going to update the old uh, hard disk in this uh, time capture with the Seagate Iron Wolf NAS 6 terabyte drive. These are very good drives. They're highly reliable. Uh, they're good value for money. They're worth about, I don't know, $250 Australian or 160, 170 American. They're a top-notch drive. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put it in next. Our drive just slots in, put it in the hole, and drop him in place. Make sure your SATA connector is on this side because it'll plug into the SATA connector right next to it here. Jiggle it around and just get it locked in. Our SATA connector just pops into place like this slide it over, align it, push it, and that will lock in quite nicely. We now put on our rubber gasket, make sure it's around the right way. The thin end is down this end. So we just flip him over and push him on. The top goes back on now, so take note of where the power connector is, and you'll see a corresponding mark here. Just flip it over, and we will push it back on. Give it a good hard push. And Bob's your uncle. As always, if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe and share. Don't forget to check out our social media. And we will see you next time in the lab.